and welcome back to Bobby and Cece. So we have something, snack. some more snacks. <laughs> snacks. What, what, snack with me, that's what's called. We have our snack crate that we were talking about. Yay. I don't know what it's called. Oh, here we go. There, that's it's, what it's so called. So the website, it's Universal Yum is what it's like the website and all that is. When I bought it, it gave me options, um, three options as to which one I wanted to do. And of course, since we here do the Asian themed things, um, my first box that we chose is an Asian themed box. So yes. if you are excited to see what's in this Asian themed box, then like and subscribe and then like watch. Yeah. <laughs> that news next to this microphone. Oh, true that, true that. All right, so within this box here, this is like a monthly subscription. It is not the same every month. It's different places. So the next one that we are going to be receiving, I have zero idea about. It just automatically like pulled Germany money out of my account and didn't ask me oh, about if I wanted what? a certain box or not. Like it didn't, it wasn't like, if right. I wanted to pick one of three, this box, because it was my first box, it asked me if I wanted to pick, it was like Italy, Greece, or... South Korea. Yeah, just very Obviously, I was like, South, South Korea. Korea. So, um, I do know that the other one that they have up right now, if you start your subscription like today, for instance, one of the options is Japan. Ooh. Um, that's what Japan? it said when I went and looked. So, hopefully, we get a Japan one. If we don't, it could be Germany or somewhere else. Yeah. But... I mean, that's kind of cool that they I let that you pick for your first one to like uh -huh. get, get your interest in. We're going to try them and open this box. The box is really cute, by the way. Oh my god! What came out? Korea. All right. Oh, so we this go is to South what it looks Korea. Like. Oh my god, this is adorable. I am so excited. There's chocolate corn in there. All right. So first, we got these little like duty bobbers here. So that's like says a little something about something. Oh my god, vanilla cream turtle gummy. What? Hey, you can write down if you liked it or not. It tells us what's in our box, I think. Okay, so I don't have a pen, but like would love to write it down on here. Okay. So if you are just interested in trying snacks at all, and you want to like remember if you liked it, they come with a little board that you can write down how you felt about it. So that's pretty cool. <gasps> it has recipes. There's recipes in this booklet. Explore South Korea. Oh my gosh, Korean 60 seconds. Oh, it tells you about the country. That's really cool. Yeah, and then it has a recipe. Ingredients to how to make some... I'm not gonna try to slaughter nope, we're that. Not like it's not gonna. That today. I mean, I was slaughtering words last night. We oh, were trying to say Korean words oh my gosh, last night. Have, hard. Bobby, they have trivia. <gasps> Yay! So this other thing, it's like a little map. It says "Welcome to South Korea, Yellow Sea, Jeju, Busan." Um, so all of these ones, so which is up here, um, Sea of Japan. So it has like a little thing, and it's got all these like little sakura blossoms, which is cute. Which I'm pretty sure are Japan, Japanese, but I digress. So then it has this little thing, and it says, "Find out we have more." yums that you could potentially have so i'm gonna say these ones aren't in the box but also look great that's a cinnamon i mean it tells you Germany. and these ones tell you what the snacks are in here it does start here these are like our guide to the, our snacks okay the perfect perfect so i don't All know right. if we got everything in here but so let's start with what's this oh, oh it's a sticker it, it says i have i dove for delicious treasures in south korea cute. how cute is this look at the sticker i live okay, for this a is sticker adorable. Yeah, I'm excited. Okay. All right, so let's try the first snack. Okay. So, churros? The first one, it oh. says churros snack. My my tongue just stuck to my mouth when I said that. I'm mm -hmm. sorry. That probably sounded hella strange. It felt okay. strange. So cinnamon sugar churros. One bite and you'll get why Korea's hook. Surprised to see churros in your South Korea box? Then you'll be ex um, extra surprised to learn that the Spanish treats are a South Korean sensation. Um, they were first available only in amusement parks and movie theaters in 2010 thanks to opening a chain like Street Churros and Churro 101. That's cool. Um, they're super popular with the boy band BTS. It's their favorite snack, I guess. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Was that supposed to make it more exciting? I'm I don't wondering. know. <laughs> I'm just kind of skimming through it. That's cute. That is cute. Okay, well. Wait, we should try this with coffee. We don't have any coffee, we so we're not going to be able to do that. But um, So this says, crispy churro snack flavor with cinnamon sugar, five grains, and maple syrup. Mm. So it looks like, but this, this, this got 160 calories per serving. 11 pieces is a serving. That's actually kind of a lot. Yeah, that's like two servings in there. Unless you're tiny. Ooh, ooh, it smells good. Oh, it smells like cinnamon toast crunch. Um, obviously, you ingest with your nose before you ingest with your mouth. It it smells like cinnamon toast crunch. Maybe ingest wasn't the right word. Mm. I'm good. Cinnamon toast crunch. Mm. <laughs> it does taste like cinnamon 
me do a crunch. Mm -hmm. I want to dip it in some coffee. I want to make it a cereal. Mm. This would be so good in coffee. Yeah, it would. I love coffee. Love coffee. That's really good. Mm. I have the best description I give you cinnamon toast crunch. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's a little maple than that. Mm -hmm. Like, you can definitely tell, taste the maple syrup. Mm. That's very flavorful. These are good. Yeah, they are. These are so good. Yeah, they are. That's, mm. that's delicious. All right. All right, what do we want to do next? Let's do this taco pie. Okay, let's see if I can find this. Ah, here we go. Banana taco pie. Oh, Bobby, you're not gonna like this. I know, I don't really care for banana. Right Korea's now. iconic marshmallow pie, banana style. How did this famous marshmallow pie manage to traverse one of the most dangerous borders in the world? We'll tell you. Both North and South Korea fell in love with this taco pies when they first came out. Um, they were even given in North Korean fac to factory um, laborers as work bonuses instead of cash. And then the, la the laborers started secretly trading the pies. North Korean leaders banned them out of fear of capitalism. Ooh, it smells, it smells like a chocolate-covered banana. Oh my god, yeah, it does. I don't know if you've ever had a chocolate-covered banana. Doll makes some dark chocolate-covered bananas in the freezer section. Really good. Ooh, ooh, no, no, no. I don't think I'm going to like this. I don't really like marshmallows. We're going to see here. Like I'm making a big mess. We're going to have to vacuum after it, this. It straight up just smells like it a banana. It smells like banana. <laughs> I'm making such a big mess. My bad. All right. I don't hate it. Oh my god. If you like bananas, that's like this super banana-y. Like, but real banana, not like fake banana flavor. Mm -hmm. It's so dry. <laughs> so dry. This needs like a drink with it. This needs some coffee. <laughs> Everything today is going to need some coffee. <laughs> so I didn't have any coffee today. Mm. So dry. Okay. So Hello dry. Not my favorite. Um, also not my favorite. It's, it is breaking it's not apart bad. everywhere. Don't break it's it in messy. half. It's messy. It's messy. Um, it's not bad. It's just not my favorite thing I've ever had. The churro things are much Bomb. better. Bomb.com. All right. So let's try. I have spicy chicken. What? Oh. <laughs> oh, it's just hot on it. These ones might be spicy. Okay. Korean fried chicken balls. <laughs> fried chicken, but it's a snack. Americans brought fried chicken to South Korea in the 50s. But since then, locals may have perfected it. Korean-style sweet fried chicken, especially coated in a layer of batter and fried twice, resulting in a crispy, not too thick crust. And for the classic sweet and spicy sauce, we have, I'm not going to say that, the shop owner um, to thank after customers complained of scraped palates. He softened the chicken with finger licking sauce. Mm. So there's the sauce, and it's supposed to taste like fried chicken. It says may contain soy or milk. So, oh, it smells good. I mean, I've been sniffing it this whole time. It smells good. It does smell good. All right. <laughs> Your face. <laughs> Interesting. Hmm. I'm gonna say it tastes like chicken. I like that. It's not really that spicy. I was hoping it was gonna be spicier because it's so hot. Kind of tastes like a rice cracker with like a sauce on it. It does. Outside. It might be a rice cracker with a sauce on the outside. It's a corn puff. So shouldn't it taste like a corn nut maybe? It has tomato place rice flour. That's why it has mm. rice flour in it. It's apple, fun. pineapple, onion, apple and pineapple. That's interesting. Cooked chicken powder. It's good. I like it. It is good. It isn't as spicy as I expected, but that's interesting. It again doesn't really taste like chicken, but it tastes like sauce. What are we doing next? Pepperro. Pepperro. Don't know what that is, but it's on here. Korea's famous cocoa dipped biscuit sticks. Oh, so they're like pocky. Yeah, I think so. Okay. Most yums don't get their own holidays, but also most yums don't taste like these chocolate coated biscuit sticks, which is why every November 11th in Korea is Pepperro Day. Just as special as Valentine's Day, the holiday in, entails friends and family exchanging the decadent sticks to show their love and appreciation for each other. Okay, that's better than Valentine's Day. <laughs> I just throw that out there. Let's have a pepperoni day here instead. If these are good, of course. Um, some and some point in 1983, news stories about groups of high school girls who exchanged pepperoni in hopes that they'd become slim and tall like the sticks. <laughs> I mean, that's great. Here so, but oh, I just tried to break one off, and it surely just did not. It, I think I, I don't. Well, I mean, it was like probably sitting oh, they, like, outside yep. in my house, you know, like outside of my house. And, like, oh, the so the chocolate and it's melted. Been very, very warm outside here. So like, here's your double stick because they're not coming off in anything less. So 
I wasn't expecting it to taste like that. It tastes like caramel corn. I wasn't expecting that whatsoever. It tastes like caramel corn with chocolate on it. <laughs> but it's kind of like savory. It's like salty. Almost it's like peanut good. butter. It's kind of like peanut butter. It's like if crunch bars were good. Because I hate crunch bars, but this is like what it reminds me of. I like crunch bars, so. It is the same thing. It's basically like rice corns in chocolate on a stick. But it's like kind of salty. Might be salt. It's good. I like it. It reminds me of peanut butter. It's not my favorite. It's not bad. I like it. I think it's good. Um, I don't see why you exchange this for people. <laughs> I wonder what other flavors they have. I can't imagine it's just one. I would also assume it is not just one. Yeah. I like those. Go in there. there if go. somebody gave this to me to show me that they're appreciative of me, I think I'd still eat it just because they gave it to me. Like, it's not bad. Right. I, I liked it. If someone gave that to me, I'd be like, oh, hell yeah. These things. <laughs> All right. Um, let's try some candy. Some candy? That looks weird. Sweet and sour, chewy, great. Wait, is this gum? Mouth puckering fruity chews from Korea. Chews. Love grapes? These things that I can't pronounce. It's your paradise. <laughs> Located in South Korea. Chungin? I don't know how to say that Chungin. Region <laughs> is where nearly 70% of the country's grapes are grown. Not to mention it's also home to Korea's famous grape festival. There's, they have a grape festival. Sign me up. I'll go. Right. <laughs> right. During the summer extravaganza, people make grape soap, dance in grape pools, and eat Shaved ice, smothered in fresh grape juice. I would have that. I love grape flavored things. Uh, fortunately, we can give you a taste of the free festival with this chewy grape candy. If you close your eyes as you chew, the explosion of lip puckering grape flavor just might transport you to this grape festival. Okay, so here's yours. The little inner packagings um, have like little grape, little grapes on them with little writing. Yeah, it's very cute. It reminds me of like a now and later. Ooh, it smells bomb. Oh my god, it just smells like a grape. Okay, I'm closing my eyes. It tastes like communion. <laughs> Hold on, let me get the pepperoni stick without the pepperoni on it. <laughs> I can have my, my communion over here. I don't know, it tastes like grape juice. Grape juice. Which is essentially what they give kids at communion. Mm. I have a really good grape flavor. Mmm. Like, really good. Because really artificial good. grape in America is nasty. It's, it's sweet. It's too sweet. Mm hmm. Oh, good. This is like a grape. Mm. Well, like, not a grape. Mm. This is really good. It's really chewy. You want to know? Asia makes the best candies. Like, candies. Mm -hmm. All of their candies that we've These had are really good. Are really good. They're so true to flavor of fruit. <laughs> they do fruit so well. They do. All right. Choco corn puffs. Cocoa? Oh, I'm not going to like this one either. And coconut puffs. But. Excuse me. in the best snack from Korea. It was only in the 1950s when American soldiers in the Korean War passed out their Hershey chocolate rations. What? Their Hershey chocolate rations? To local kids. Oh that chocolate God. exploded in Korea. Since then, Korean chocolate companies have produced amazing cocoa treats that are totally different than anything in America. Take this airy puff, for example. Oh, they smell very Infuse with chocolatey coconut inside and out. And with, I'm sorry, I'm choking on this freaking thing. It will give you a whole new kind of melt-in-your-mouth chocolate experience. Um, it is voted the best snack in the 2019 Korea box. Mm. Okay, so sniff it first. It smells like straight of chocolate. It doesn't have any other scent in it. But let me just pull this out. If you have a cat. <laughs> like, let me just show you the whole cat turd <laughs> that comes in. Like, this is a cat turd. Okay, guys? If you don't have cats, <laughs> now you know this is what cat turds look like. <laughs> so, here's your cat turd. It also looks like a brown Cheeto. It does. <laughs> Hi, kitty. Did you hear me say cat turds? And you're like, that's me. Right, we're going to eat these. Weird. That is weird. The texture was not what I was expecting. Mm. Mm. It's like melting your mouth. Mm -hmm. And it tastes very chocolatey. Right. I don't know why, but I feel like this needs to taste like cheese. <laughs> <laughs> Me in America over here, like kind of. this is a Cheeto. It reminds me of a little cheese, sweet cocoa puff. Mm. Yeah, like a less sweet cocoa puff. I wonder if this is like dipped in milk. Oh, probably or coffee. Great. I probably disintegrate. <laughs> it would probably disintegrate on impact. <laughs> on impact. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> All right. We have good, though. All right, let's do this one. What is, where are you in this book? This custard. is custard cream cake. Custard cream cake. Pillowy soft cake with decadent custard cream. See where it says 19, or since 1989 on this yums package? There's one very good reason for that. French culinary techniques were foreign to Korea until 1988. What changed? A little bakery called Paris Baguette, you think? Opened, opened, opening the floodgates of French cuisine and blending French techniques with Korean taste. Croissants were made with sesame donuts, got a twist, they're literally twisted, and buns that were once steamed were instead baked and stuffed with custard. Hmm. All right, this is what she looks like. That looks a little rough. <laughs> this looks like it's gonna be dry too. It looks like on the inside. Hopefully the custard will help it. It looks like a cooked egg in there. It does look like a cooked egg. It looks like cooked egg yolk. I don't like it. Hmm. Oh, I know. I'm sorry. It tastes okay. It just reminds me of an egg in there. It just, the custard tastes funky. Hmm. I don't think so. It's just like barbarian cream. But like not as good. It just looks like an egg. And I'm telling you, it's a yep. Korean Twinkie. Kind of, yeah. It yeah. actually tastes like a Twinkie. I don't like Twinkies, so that, <laughs> that explains it. That explains, here you go. It's not bad, but like, I don't like it. <laughs> I think it's great. Maybe it's Twinkie. But I don't like Twinkies, so. Mm. That could also be why. Oh, uh, yeah, better than the banana one. Yeah, it is better than the banana one, I will say. Banana thing is probably my least favorite thing so far. Okay, so. Mascarpone. Oh, I'm gonna like this. Mascarpone cream cookies. Let me see mascarpone. Melange. Soft cookies with a lot luscious. I was a lustrous mascarpone cream. And this is Korean. Yeah, they're. The, I'm reading all of them. Oh, we haven't done the trivia for this, but if we answer the trivia, you learn that March 14th is White Day, a South Korean holiday when men receive gifts on Valentine's Day, return the favor. But how did it start? Well, unlike in the U.S. and most East Asian cultures, it's the woman who buys sweets for their partners. But in 1978, the National Confectionery Association in Japan decided the women deserve some sweetness, too. I agree, Japan. <laughs> and White Day was born. The tradition spread to South Korea, where women are shown or showered with white-colored gift of jewelry, chocolate, and cookies, like this decadent white mascarpone-filled cream cookie. Yeah, we never did that. <laughs> Here you go. This is my gift for you. Here you go. <laughs> we'll try it. <laughs> These are wrapped really cute. They are. The packaging is cute. Okay, so the cookie is also pretty cute. Why can I not open this? The cookie's got like this little like chocolatey wave on it. So that's pretty cute. Oh, it is cute. Okay. It smells good. I am ready. Yep, that's good. Tastes like a vanilla wafer. Mm -hmm. I love vanilla wafer. She's good. Mm -hmm. It doesn't taste like. I don't need a marshmallow. It doesn't taste like anything like different or special. No, it doesn't. Like it's plain. But it's good. Which is not bad. It's just plain. Right. Still good though. I don't know why, but I thought marshmallow was gonna taste different. Have you not had? I've had that in ice cream. It's really good in ice cream. Mm. No, I have. That's why I thought it was gonna taste different. Mm. Okay, so let's do this jelly. Let's just. Korean in. strawberry gummies. Tastes and looks fresh from the garbage. Garbage. <laughs> <laughs> I meant garbage. Tell me how you really feel, Susie. I love strawberry. Um, I think it's Lotte. Lot. I don't know. This is L O T T E. I don't know how you say that. It the company that made these juicy strawberry gummies offers Korea. This is heavy. Koreans more than just thrilling flavors. They also offer thrilling rides. Um, a huge welcome to. I'm gonna call it Lot World. I don't think it. I think Lotte. But um, a huge recreation complex in Seoul that includes the world's largest indoor theme park, an outdoor water park set on a man-made island that smells so fragrant. Oh, I can good. smell it from over that here. That smells so good. Um, it has a museum, 4,000 years of history, and miniatures. That's cool. And much with more. This, it's, I can smell it from when you opened it. <laughs> Ready to eat it. It's going to be so... Oh, my God. They're so cute. They look like little stuff. They're like, aw. Oh my god, they're so, they are so fragrant. Uh -huh. For how fragrant they are, they have not, not very much taste. Hmm. What? Okay. <laughs> maybe we need to eat another one, because maybe it's like the cookies, Masamotas? Maybe. I mean, I can taste it, but it's not. 
It's not as pungent as the scent is. We found that in some of our other videos. Go watch our other mm -hmm. videos. But this is like a trend. Things smell very, very, very like scented. Like they're going to taste like, wow. And then they're mild flavored. Yeah. The grape one definitely has like 10 times more it did. punch. But the candy did too. The oh, the Raymond or mm -hmm. Raymond or whatever candy we have. Hmm. Hmm. I mean, it's good. Hmm. Mm. It is good. It's my kind of gummy candy that's not too sweet that I like. I like when candy's not too sweet. Yeah. Because my teeth, they don't love sweet candy. It would make yeah. a really good, like, gummy vitamin for kids. Ooh, yeah. It's, and it does, it tastes good. It tastes like it smells. It's yeah. just milder. The sm the scent is just like, scent. Bam! Yep. And the flavor is like, hello, friend. <laughs> okay, Korean truffle potato chips. Um, <clears throat> the caviar of mushrooms on a Korean chip. That's cute. Black truffles are expensive. A quarter pound can cost over $2,000. That is Holy ridiculous. Balls. And when you have to import them from Europe, like Korea does, they get even more expensive. So South Korea did what South Korea does. They innovated. Researchers recently planned European gourmet truffles throughout, I'm not going to say that, using a wide variety of cultivation methods in the hopes of guaranteed success. We'll have to wait and see if they take root. But in the meantime, snacks um, Korea's most expensive flavor by chomping into this. I love truffle things. It oh, smells like a potato It smells chip. like, you know what it smells like if you get like really up in there? It smells like our duck fat fries that we had yesterday. Oh my God. We had truffle duck fat fries. <laughs> um, so good. If you're ever in Sioux Falls and you want to. It does. Like have, really smell into it, like past the potato. It does. <laughs> if you want to have some bomb fries in Sioux Falls, I am telling you, go to the barrel house and order. They are, they're um, truffle and black duck garlic. Duck fat. Duck fat. Fries. Yeah, they're, they're great. so good. They're an appetizer and they come in a huge portion, plenty for two people. So good. Yeah, they're great. Oh my god, these are so good. They're great. The Winner. Just like those fried fries. Mm -hmm. Banger. The best thing in the whole box. The best thing, the best thing in the whole box. Mm. Banger. Those are so good. Banger. Oh my god. These are so flavorful. So that means that those truffle fries, um, the truffle is really prevalent. Mm -hmm. Banger, 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 banger. Mm. Best shit in the whole box. Still flavorful. These make this whole box worth all of this money. I don't care. I wonder how much money they cost by themselves. I don't know. Does it give us prices? All right. <laughs> you want a chip? <laughs> sure. You're like, I do want a chip, but please don't feed me. <laughs> okay. Mmm. Which of the following is a common South Korea what South Korean wedding gift? A. Live salmon. B. Duck statues. That's hilarious. C. A one. bowl of rice. And D. Blue pens. I'm gonna say I'm gonna say duck statues just because that's funny. You are correct. Yes, duck statues. <laughs> In South Korea, wooden duck statues are thought to represent peace, fidelity, and fertility for newlyweds. Back in ancient times, Korean grooms would gift their brides, families, with a pair of live ducks. But since then, folks seem to have gotten um, tired of the quacking. <laughs> Nowadays, wooden is a go-to, specifically ones carved to look like mandarin ducks, which couple up for life. Oh, that is precious. <laughs> We're not going to do all of these questions. We'll read all of them later. But if I sit here, there's like eight more questions. I but know, that's right? really cute that that comes in here. Like they give right. you activities. They give you activities. They have fun facts. Um, oh, Find your, <laughs> find your favorite city. Like what it says, what are they famous for? So they have some pictures of people on here. Um, and then what things. So it's kind of giving you a little bit of information about their culture, about um, things that are important to them, about um, their famous people, what they're famous for. A day in the life is in here. There's a little webtoon. Like, yeah, it's super adorable. And then all about the foods. It has um, some nutritional facts in there. It also gives you the answers to some of the questions. Yeah, and it gives you a recipe for whatever this is. And then, yeah, and then um, a so recipe. So if y'all want a recipe, there you go. I'll show the recipe. And it also has some suggestions, looks like, for other snacks on there. So, like, I mean, that was pretty cool. I think that's worked. I think that's that really was I was not. Bucks. I was not expecting them to give us information. I'm really excited to learn about some countries. Yeah, we got 10, ten snacks. snacks. So I was maybe reading a different, maybe they have a smaller box with five to seven snacks. And then the other ones, like, bigger. I know they have a bigger box. I didn't get the biggest one. I picked the middle one. Okay. So the, there's a bigger one that costs more money that has more snacks. Yeah. So 
I personally, the truffle chips, you know, win. They yes, win our hearts. They were so good. The, the banana moon pie thing is a hell no. It, that, I'm going to pass on that one. Same with the dry weird custard thing. I don't, I think I just don't like dry things unless they're like The custard crunchy. thing was pretty good actually. I like that one. They're not my fave. But the churros, chef's kiss. Churros were great too. <laughs> right? I don't know what it's, things are supposed to taste like. Like, I don't know why, but I feel like they're supposed <laughs> to taste different. I feel like they're supposed to taste different than they do if they're from somewhere else. But none of these things really tasted like anything America doesn't have a version of. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like nothing. Well, besides the grape thing, I will say the grape thing, like I said, Asian countries, and it's probably because they do fruit so well, like their actual fruit is like they prize their fruit. Fruit is like something that you get people as gifts and they're expensive in certain places. So they do fruit flavors immaculately. They remind me of Mamba's. Which yeah, yeah. An American is an American like chewy thing, mm-hmm. um, but it does everything here. Kind of has like an equivalent. It reminds me of something that I've already tried here, but I'm not mad at it. But better, honestly, these chips way right. better. I don't, I don't know. We, I've never <laughs> had a chip like that flavor before. But obviously, I've had a chip before. Right. Well, in the churro things, like I've never had something like that. We don't. Right. Have that any. has that maple flavor. Like there's some things like some corks. Things, some things are a little bit different. Right. But, like nothing that was like oh my god. Like when we went to the grocery store, we tried to buy things that were like wait, what's this? <laughs> right, like we had the weird simpletons. Right, the weird simpletons. But I guess if you're going to send a box to somebody and try to get them to understand, appreciate, and love the culture and the food, you're not going to send them things that could be questionable, you know? Right, that you don't know if a large audience of people would enjoy. Right, right. So, but so, yeah, yeah, that was very worth it. it was I'm excited to do these now. I know, right? Yeah. We weren't sure. <laughs> we so, were a little nervous. If you are excited for us, if you want to try this out yourself, it, it was called Universal Yums. You Universal Yums. Box. We're not sponsored in case you wanted to know. We pay for all of our own stuff. Yes, we do. We're sponsored by nothing. <laughs> We're sponsored we make zero by dollars. our own jobs yes. and our bank accounts. So, okay. yeah, but like and subscribe if you want us to continue doing these just so that we know if you like them because we don't know if anybody likes these yet. We've only put out one. We've only so. put out another one, though. So. Yeah. Alrighty. Bye, everybody.